Hello Mouses, it's been a couple of days, sorry about that, but we're back now, I have been away and it's been pretty much impossible to record while I've been away because I just wouldn't have had the time, but I am here now and we're going to get straight back to it with the news on Tuesday. Well, I say straight back to it, I'm going to let the cat out of the room first and then we'll get to it. <laughs> Now the first news I want to talk about is truly shocking. A woman in her late 80s was choking to death, literally to death, and a nurse who was nearby decided to phone an ambulance and ask paramedics to come and save this woman because she wasn't allowed by her boss to save this woman. Apparently performing CPR was not part of her job description as a nurse at a care home. This is amazingly stupid. How can anyone think that just because their boss says they can't perform CPR that means somehow as a nurse and therefore someone who has to take an oath to do no harm could, how does that make it alright for you to stand there and watch someone die? I can't believe that this is acceptable behaviour and although police investigating have said that there's nothing illegal happened I'm going to say no. There's it might not be illegal, but it's certainly immoral to just stand there and expect someone else to come and do a job you should be doing. Now, someone who doesn't know CPR, sure, then phone for a paramedic and say, look, I need an ambulance, this person is choking, they're going to need CPR, I don't know how to do it. While you're sending the ambulance, tell me what I'm supposed to do. But a nurse should be trained in this, and there's no way that their job description should somehow override their duty to save other people. This is unacceptable behaviour and I'm amazed that this hasn't resulted in some kind of investigation from the nurse's governing body and this person being struck off. This is simply unacceptable and they need to go and their boss needs to go too. And I know people are going to say, well, the nurse was just doing what she was told. That's the problem. You're a nurse. You've got the ability to save lives, especially in this case. You should know what you're doing and you don't do it. That means you should go. You're not fit to be a nurse if you're going to stand by and follow orders that say watch someone choke to death. And that's all I've got to say on that. Now here's something that's going to get me some complaints. We're going to talk about Justin Bieber for a moment. As most of you will probably realise, I am not so much of a Justin Bieber fan as a person who really doesn't care about Justin Bieber. But when it comes to his insane fans, something has to be said. A woman who wrote on Twitter that she kind of liked Justin Bieber's acoustic album but wasn't really a fan, got retweeted by Justin Bieber. So, how is that newsworthy, you might ask? Well, it's not particularly newsworthy in itself, but the reaction of his fans was. Some of them decided that they didn't like the fact that this person said they weren't a fan, even though they then went on to say that the album that they just heard was actually quite good. They decided that that wasn't good enough, so they've been attacking this woman, sending her death threats and all kinds of really stupid cult-like behaviour which shows that they're all really, really sick in the head and need professional attention. If you're going to the point where someone's saying that they don't like something that you like causes you to send them a death threat, you are dangerously unstable. I don't use those words in any light way, I'm not making a joke here. You need professional help. There are limits to how far you're supposed to take liking something. When it borders on obsession and then crosses through that border and out the other side, then there's something wrong with you. Get help. But there is another part of this that I thought was very interesting. Some people didn't go outright attacking this person. They, instead, they said, oh, you got retweeted by Justin. I've been a fan since 2009, blah, 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 blah. Why didn't he retweet anything I said? Why did you get seen and I didn't? Why am I ignored? Blah, 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 blah. And I want to say this to them, so I'm going to use a second camera to talk directly to these people. Come on, kitten. Just because someone hasn't spoken to you personally doesn't mean that you're being ignored. You have friends, you have family, you have people who care for you. The thoughts of a stranger who you might happen to like, but who doesn't have any reason to have actually noticed you exist because you are one in a sea of millions doesn't mean that your life is meaningless. You've got to remember that sometimes people who you like don't get a chance to see what you're doing. It doesn't mean that you're any less of a person. 
It doesn't mean that whoever they do see and interact as any better of a person than you. It just means that they were in a situation where they were in the right place at the right time, and that's all that is. It's just look pure and simple, and it shouldn't define your life. Okay, that's really all I wanted to say on this. It's stupid that people take obsessions to this level, but it is inevitable in the case of cult-like personalities. And like it or not, that's what the group of people that love Justin Bieber have formed. They're a cult, it's dangerous to the people that are in it, especially when some of those are clearly quite violent people. The best thing you can do is, if you like Justin Bieber, that's fine, like him, but don't get yourself caught up in a group mentality that is only going to ruin your life. Talking about destroying lives, we're going to look at this debate that went on at Glasgow University. A couple of women went to this debate and they were in the top 20 speakers in the world according to some debating societies list. They went to this debate at Glasgow University, one of them from Cambridge. Cambridge University has now, as a result of this debate, cut ties with Glasgow. It will no longer send any of its debating team to debates at Glasgow. Why has that happened? It's simple. The women that were speaking at this debate were subjected to such a hideous barrage of sexism and heckling and outright abuse throughout a debate. The women involved were reduced to tears by the constant onslaught and now people are coming out to defend those who decided that their duty that night was to destroy other people and basically to put down women because apparently they didn't know their place. Every single person who shouted out anything should be removed from that university immediately. This is unacceptable behaviour. To attack someone verbally is bad enough, but to then destroy their well-being to the point where they are reduced to tears just because you think it's not right that women should have opinions, that is unacceptable on any level. It is indefensible behaviour. Everyone that did that needs to be removed from the university. A university is not a place where that kind of behaviour should ever be tolerated. I'm amazed that people came out to defend these people. That is enabling abusers. Plain and simple. How can you defend something that repulsive? I thought we were past this. I thought sexism was something that people called out and it got dealt with, but apparently not. Apparently when you call it out, you get attacked as well, which is what happened to the moderator of this debate. And then for having people come along afterwards and say, oh, it's just how things are here. No, it's not how things are here. That's not how things are allowed to be. You don't get to come along and destroy other people. That's not acceptable. So not only are all the people who did this hideous act needing to be dealt with, but the people who would then come along and defend them, they also need to be dealt with. Just look at yourselves, take a good look at your life and ask yourself, why are you trying to suggest to other people that this problem isn't as big a problem as they think? Because it is as big a problem as they think, what has happened to you to make you just uninterested in that? Or to try and just brush it aside as if it's not a problem? What happened to you? Okay, this has been a bit of a downer episode, but never mind. We'll be back tomorrow with something that would hopefully be a bit more light-hearted. But until then, if you did like this, remember to click the like button, share it with your friends so that they can see what's been going on in the world as well, and subscribe for future videos. But until next time, I've been Zoe Kirk Robinson, you've been watching the Knob Mouse channel, it's good to see you again, and I'll see you tomorrow.